Uh, I'm a corporate vice president of the citizen application platform at Microsoft. And we're going to be talking about building agile processes with Power Apps. We have a lot of exciting news about new capabilities and new features in Power Apps, a great demo with a customer for T-Mobile, uh, as well as an intro to the Power Apps concepts if you're new to the platform. So when we talk about Power Apps and the Power Platform more generally, uh, at Microsoft, we're really offering this because there's such a strong, broad change in how the market is viewing application development. Over the next five years, 500 million new applications will be built, which is more than all the apps built in the last 40 years. Additionally, the demand for mobile applications and IT departments has grown more than 5x, faster than it can be delivered by the IT departments. And over 85% of organizations are struggling to understand and analyze their unstructured data. Um, and as a result, companies are looking to go grow their technical talent, but 86% of organizations are struggling to find coders and, te and technically enabled uh, workforce. Um, and all of these things are mixing together to make it so that 65% of enterprise application development is going to move towards the low code category by 2024, according to Gartner. And when we talk about low code at Microsoft, we're really talking about the Microsoft Power Platform. It's the single low code platform that spans Office 365, Dynamics 365, Azure, and your standalone applications. And the session today is all about Power Apps and how you can use it to completely transform your business processes. Power Apps enables application development, very focused on web and mobile experiences, but Power BI can analyze your data, Power Automate can automate your tasks with robotic process automation, and Power Virtual Agents can go build chat agents. But all together, uh, you can mix and match to really go transform the end to end of all the business processes in your company. And when you look at the Power Platform, the whole idea is we want to empower every developer to do more. Whether you're a citizen developer, which is a business user, like in marketing or finance, an IT developer, uh, which maybe is a SharePoint or Teams admin, or a professional developer or coder, all are welcome with no code, low code, and code first support inside of Power Apps so that you can go develop solutions faster than ever before and address all your unique business needs. And when we look at Power Apps, um, for those that are new, um, it's the Microsoft's low code approach to build applications. Um, on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the Power Apps Studio environment, which looks like PowerPoint and Excel combined, it makes it very easy to go build those applications, which will run on a phone, Android, or iOS, as well as in a browser or on a PC. And what's great about Power Apps is that it can connect to over 350 other systems. So no matter what you have in your enterprise, you can connect to it and build on top of it. Additionally, Power, although Power Apps makes it incredibly easy to go build these apps, they make sure you can do it in a way where it's always governed and always secure. You don't have to worry if you're running a large company about there being data leakage or data loss. You can en enable everybody to be a developer without compromising on things that matter most, particularly for regulated industries. And lastly, and something we're gonna talk about a lot today, there's a rich professional developer extensibility story. So if those business users and citizen developers wanna get advanced UI controls, AI models, or backend services, pro devs can use the tools they always know and love and integrate with the broader Power Platform. And when we look at uh, the Power Apps more broadly, uh, one of the most important aspects is the common data service. Because all of those apps have a huge amount of critical business data, data that you wanna secure and authenticate and authorize and make take advantage of over time. And the common data service is built into Power Apps, built into the Power Platform, and makes it easy to put all of your data to work for you. Uh, and we do this by shipping out of the box entities and schemas, having native integration with Office 365 concepts like groups and users, as well as Azure Data, like Azure Data Lake as well as a lot of great extensibility points and, and automatically generated app experiences inside of Power Apps. So if you use the common data service, you can make sure that you get applications built quickly and you can have many apps using the same data without creating lots of data silos or data sprawl inside of your company. And although we have a backend built into Power Apps with the common data service, we also have incredible connectivity. This is what I was talking about earlier with over 350 data connectors. We support cloud services like Adobe and Zendesk or Salesforce, as well as on-premise systems like SQL Server, Oracle, DB2, or Informix. If you name it, we can probably connect to it in the enterprise. And this makes it so your Power Apps can integrate with, with what you already have in the enterprise. This is so critical 
to get value quickly because you're able to pull from all the data that you have in your company without having to go copy it or move it or do a complicated ETL. This is a way you can start putting your data to work across your entire company without having to go move everything to a new platform or a new stack. And because you can access all that data, you can empower all your developers to chase all the scenarios where it makes sense to have an application solution. There's this long tail of apps that nobody can ever get to, the, the classic app gap that every IT department talks about. Um, if you go talk to large customers, there's numbers in the thousands, if not tens of thousands. In the past, you couldn't afford to go hire developers. You didn't have enough developers to go code these up, but you can now solve it with Power Apps. You can solve all those unique things about your business that need to be digitized, need to have structure, need to have an app by using Power Apps. And if we look at um, kind of how this is translating across uh, the Microsoft customer base, we just have just seen phenomenal adoption of Power Apps and really adopting it in this way, where you have citizen developers, IT developers, and professional developers working together. Uh, we have 86% of the Fortune 500 using Power Apps. Power Apps has grown 5x from a business point of view over the last year. Um, usage is almost 3x year over year, just really accelerating adoption. And it's across all kinds of industries. On the bottom of the slide, you'll see all the different companies, whether it's healthcare or energy or manufacturing, where people are adopting Power Apps to go transform how they get their work done, to go get that last mile, those thousand apps, and finally address all the problems that they've always wanted to when it comes to app delivery and app development. And one of the big things, which I'm really excited to announce today, which is going to build on top of this broad reach of Power Apps, is that how Power Platform and Power Apps more specifically is starting to integrate with Microsoft Teams. And to do that, we have a short little video just to highlight the capabilities. More than ever, businesses are looking for ways to be agile and save time and money. Microsoft Teams is a rich platform for work offering so much more than just chat, meetings, and calling. With Power Platform in Teams, it's also a place where anyone can develop simple yet powerful low-code solutions that simplify work right within Teams. Power Apps is a low-code app-building platform that lets you easily create, edit, and publish apps directly to Teams, allowing you to simplify work across any device. Now, Anyone can benefit from AI-powered, natural-language-capable bots made right in Teams. Power Virtual Agents makes chatbots easy to create and scale across your organization. You can automate processes like approvals, reminders, and even robust enterprise-grade workflows using the Power Automate app. And turn your insights into action with a new Power BI app that lets you quickly find, share, and create data visualizations right within Teams. With Teams and Microsoft Power Platform, your opportunities to simplify work are endless, making it easier than ever to bring people together and achieve more. And that capability of the Power Platform and Teams is one of the big announcements at Ignite. And for people that are big Power Apps fans, this uh, will be new, big news for you, which is Power Apps and Teams working together to be that remote work platform when it comes to building applications they can collaborate with. So you can see here with just a short little video on the screen about how easy it is now to create tables inside the common data service with Project Oakdale right from inside of Teams, and also how easy it is to go build applications on top of that data once you create it. And the demo I'm about to show from T-Mobile will also really go into depth about all these rich capabilities. And what really excites us about this and what we're hearing from customers so far about Power Apps and Project Oakdale is that there's this strong need with everybody spending so much time inside of Microsoft Teams to build, to bring business processes, to bring applications to where people are already collaborating which is Teams. Um, and that's what's really exciting is that you can start to solve all these unique problems right where your users already are. Um, I know I spend uh, at least eight hours a day inside of Microsoft Teams. Uh, we already use this pretty extensively internally uh, for all kinds of important business processes. So uh, if there's one thing that's really new and big I, that I hope you check out from Ignite, it's definitely this Power Apps and Teams capability. And to really jump into that, 
Um, what I'm going to show is a, a demo from T-Mobile, which is uh, one, of, one of the emerging innovative Power Apps customers that goes all the way from how they use Power Apps to do store inspections inside of Microsoft Teams to more advanced project planning application inside of the browser, and as well as how developers get involved. So if I'll just switch over here um, to share my, my phone screen with my computer to show uh, it in action. Um, so I'm inside of Microsoft Teams right now. Um, if you actually see right here, I'm inside a Teams channel. That, that's my account. Um, if I go over to more and say launch this area inspection app, this is a power app running completely inside the, the mobile Teams client. See how fast it is, how na na natively and naturally integrated it's inside of that Teams client. And if I say go click through um, inside of the application, uh, in this case, what it's being used for with T-Mobile is to do inspections of the retail locations to make sure they're stocked and cleaned. So I can do something like, say, inspect an area. I can see all the different types of areas inside of the store. Um, I have nice little pills to do great little filtering. Uh, maybe I'll choose back tables, um, do a store opening walk, uh, which is just something you do as part of getting ready for the store. You can see I have a nice little picture. I can go through the inspection list. And it's a highly visual, um, highly native experience, which just works great for all of our customers um, who spend so much time inside of Teams for collaboration in the retail location. They now can have such a rich, themed, branded application where all of that data is actually being stored back inside of the common data service with Project Oakdale. And that rich little application uh, is part of that new Teams Power Apps integration that we're announcing and releasing publicly uh, with Ignite. Uh, and you can see I'm right inside of Microsoft Teams right now. And there's a this is the new Power Apps app, which you can just use natively. You can see how it has a nice little landing page. It shows me all of my recent applications. I also have the ability to go look at um, other templates that have been built by Microsoft to get started, as well as great learning content, a really rich experience. And in fact, for T-Mobile, um, that application I was just showing, I'll go deeper in a second, um, that's something that started as one of those templates. There's the area inspection template, which is something that we Microsoft ship and deliver free of charge to all uh, Power Apps customers. Um, and there's an area inspection, uh, uh, basically app as part of that solution. And that's the app that was installed and customized and tailored just that I was showing on my phone. And if I say switch over to the Power App Studio here, this is what's really exciting is you actually have the entire Power App Studio right inside of Microsoft Teams. So if I say zoom up here, you can see I'm in the browser, but I'm actually using the entire Power Apps Canvas Studio to build my application, to integrate with Project Oakdale and the Common Data Service all easily and all natively, um, just the way that T-Mobile would like to do it. Um, and the fact that you can do this, um, I can even do say a preview, and I actually am now running the same app that I was just showing on my phone I'm able to go run right inside of the authoring environment inside of the browser. Um, and say if I click through these screens, you can see how there's all the same information that I was just showing. That's the standard Power Apps, what you see is what you get editor. No compile, no build, no publish, just all available to you natively inside of the Teams client. And what's great is um, inside of Power Apps, like one of the things that we've been talking about a lot is something called components. And what components allow you to do is he allow you to build a building block which you can reuse across all of your applications. And in the case of T-Mobile, they have this header, um, which I'm gonna to bring to the front right here, um, which is just says T-Mobile on it, nice and branded. And that's something which has a back to home button, the T-Mobile logo, the appropriate size, which is standardized across the company. You can easily reuse and recompose entirely inside this experience. And although you're using Power Apps inside of Teams, you still got all of that great power and, and capabilities. Um, but as always, one of the best things about any Power Apps demo is its data sources. If you look on the left-hand side of the screen here where I'm scrolling, you can see dozens and dozens of different data sources are being used to build this rich application experience. That's the 350 plus data connectors that I was talking about earlier, all available to you natively and naturally inside of Power Apps. And the, that's something that's been around for a while, but the brand new thing, which is super exciting, is the common data service or project Oakdale authoring experience inside of Teams. So if I say click edit here, I'm actually editing this table inside of Oakdale and look at this brand new beautiful user interface I get, which just shows me a simple table of all the data 
inside the common data service. And if you look at these columns that are defined up here, I have advanced types like text fields, or I can have something like uh, a checklist, which is a relationship um, to another table inside of the common data service. I have date times, I have uh, selection options for enums. And if I wanna add a new column, I can do that just with a single click all natively integrated, all real time. And the same idea we've always had for Power Apps UI design, we finally brought to data design. What you see is what you get. No build, no compile, no publish. The data is all at your fingertips. And even inside this table, if I want, you can go change the drop down right here um, natively. And you can see that's coming from a different table, which is a lookup. So th this is just a really rich enabled scenario for our customers, which allows you to go bring together that low code data platform with the common data service, which everybody uh, really depends on for such mission critical applications, but bring it right inside with a native intuitive experience inside of Microsoft Teams. Um, and the, the best part, which I'm sure a lot of people will be excited about, is with Project Oakdale. You can get access to this tabular experience inside of Microsoft Teams without any additional licenses. The Microsoft Teams license includes it entirely inside of its use rights. Um, and I don't want just to imply that you can only use Microsoft Teams with Power Apps, but you can also build much more advanced applications. So another thing that T-Mobile has built is a web-based application called Orbit. And Orbit is responsible for managing the approval of processes like marketing campaigns or discount programs. And this is something also built on Power Apps and built on common data service, but runs inside the browser. And if I say, just launch this to play it from the Power App Studio, I can say, go to the list view, which will show me all the programs that are underway. Um, and yeah, as it loads, you can see how there's even this great little experience from T-Mobile where it's T-Mobile branded entirely end to end. And say if I click through here for device promotion on September 24th, which is one of those campaigns in the works, you can see it pulls up all the data from a bunch of different systems. It talks about uh, the rollout program for particular devices. I can go click through into details about the, the program um, for this device promotion. Um, and all of this is coming from a bunch of different systems as well as the common data service all entirely inside of my browser, replacing tons of manual processes that was very error prone in the past. You can even go through, get approvals from particular people, pull on a team and attach files. So really rich, deep business application experience, which our customers so frequently want to create with Power Apps, built on the same common data service that I was just showing inside of Teams. And if I say, uh, go through some of these screens, um, one maybe I may show is say the uh, approval screen, um, because what's special about this is not only is this pulling data from the common data service, but it's also pulling data from a system hosted inside of Azure. And to do that, um, that's done by using something called a custom connector. Um, we can see it right here, the CD, CDS get GT, get GTM entries, excuse me, uh, record. This is a custom connector published and composed from Azure. Um, I can get access to it right inside of Power Apps. And if I want to go call it, all you can you can do it just very easily using the Power Apps expression language. So if I zoom in right here, whenever this page loads, you can see I'm actually invoking this custom connector using the Power Apps expression language that's hosted inside of Azure. And that's something you could do for a while, but it's never been as easy as it is now with our brand new announcements around Azure API management integration. So to get access to this custom connector from inside of uh, Power Apps, what T-Mobile had done is they had actually authored it inside of Visual Studio, because where else are you going to write your APIs? So you can see here I have a, a GTM entries uh, route defined inside of my .NET controller. Um, this is not the best .NET code. You wouldn't be very proud of it, but it, it works for the purposes of the, of the demo. Um, and what I can now do is right from inside of Visual Studio when you build these APIs, there's a native publishing experience which allows you to walk through end to end to go from your .NET code to Azure API management. So you see right here, I have a T-Mobile web deploy, and just by clicking publish, it's gonna move my .NET APIs and the definitions of those APIs into Azure API management. And I did that beforehand, uh, just to save us a little time for the demo. And so I go to the Azure portal, open up this T-Mobile APIM instance, um, and the T-Mobile APIM instance just gives me a great overview of all those APIs that are used inside of my Power App or elsewhere. And if I click on, say, the APIs here, we can see I have this T-Mobile instance, and right here I have that same GTM entry. So these are the same APIs that you saw in .NET 
in Visual Studio, and the same APIs you could see inside of Power Apps. They're all wired up naturally and natively right here. Um, and if I want to, there's just a simple UI, click Export on this API, where I can move that custom connector I wrote in Visual Studio directly into my Power App environment. And that end-to-end -end flow is something that we're increasingly seeing from our customers because developers want to work together with business users inside of Power Apps in something called a fusion team to really transform how you deliver experiences to your customers and your employees. Uh, and that's the, the really special aspect of a bunch of the announcements that we have today at Ignite for Power Apps inside of Teams and for Power Apps together with Azure. Now, I'm going to switch back to slides, um, talk about some more details and talk about some of the stuff that we just saw. So when we talk about what you can do with Power Apps, the big idea is you don't have to wire all this stuff together. We actually make it very easy to stay in the low-code world with Power Platform, with Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, and Power BI, as well as the code-first world with Azure and Visual Studio, and also use GitHub for source control, all in one end-to-end -end stack. This is what modern application development looks like from low code to code first, fully integrated. If you're a dev, you want to learn about low code. And if you're a business user, you want to learn about low code as well. And it's not just high level diagrams. We have integrations all over the place between Azure and Power Platform. You can develop faster than ever before from Azure API management to Power Apps or Azure Functions or Azure Logic Apps or connectors to Azure SQL or Azure Data Lake. Data Lake. Um, this is all in addition to those great Visual Studio and GitHub experiences that we were talking about. No matter where you are on this palette of great dev tools, you can really transform how your company operates by using Power Platform, Azure, and Visual Studio together. And the big, another big announcement, uh, which I've been hinting at today, is Power Platform now is integrated with GitHub. There are built-in GitHub actions to take uh, basically continuous integration or continuous deployment steps on top of Power Platform artifacts. You can now easily manage your solutions across your environments. Uh, you can easily empower your developers to follow the standard software development lifecycle. And you can also have your developers publish to GitHub, but then have your low-code developers consume artifacts from their GitHub repository, really completing that end-to-end -end flow to make sure developers can use the tools they always know and love, which in this case is Git, um, but still work in the low-code Power Platform space. And the Azure API management capability that I demoed as well is another great example. So a lot of great improvements to whether it's in Visual Studio and Azure API management and Power Apps to really make that end-to-end -end sing. And the other big exciting announcement for folks I'd want to highlight today is you can now use custom connectors built on Azure API management inside of Teams without a Power Apps premium license. That's right, APIM, Azure API management backed custom connectors are now available with Office licenses for apps that run inside of Teams. On uh, that way, you can follow exactly the flow that's on this screen where professional developers publish and work together with citizen developers to go reach all aspects of a business to really transform how you operate um, by building all those applications to chase that long tail of a thousand plus app gap. And um, we talk a lot about Power Apps and what it and uh, how much we love developers and coders and professional developers. So what we thought would be good is actually pulling together a video of a few developers that like Power Apps. So I'll let them say it in their own words. With the Microsoft Power Platform, developers around the world are innovating, transforming processes, and deploying highly complex end-to-end -end automation solutions. As a pro dev, it allows me to deliver functionality faster with less code, but where required, we can use more advanced techniques to extend the platform further. And this is the beauty of the Power Platform. As a developer, there are two things I absolutely love about the Power Platform. Number one is productivity with rapid development. I can build solutions in days and in the process, help organizations get deeper value out of their investments in the Microsoft Cloud ecosystem and SaaS services. Number two, it empowers me as a developer to effortlessly build solutions using my favorite tools, programming languages, and development environments. What I also think is really special, especially for my career, is that we can execute on a lot of projects in a short amount of time. It really makes you understand the underlying needs of the customer a lot better. And this creates for great partnership that you can just continue to execute on projects month after month. So I learned about the Power Platform when I was fresh out of school. One of my first projects was developing a Power App that involved many embedded flows. 
Now this project had lots of visibility. So I was presenting this project to the director of the business each week. Now, since I was still learning about the Power Platform, when I had questions and needed help fast, I went to the community for help. Now, after acquiring all this knowledge from the community, I'm giving back to the community and providing knowledge to other users that needed help, just like me. Working as a full stack developer, I was used to building most custom components from scratch. So that's one of the things that I love about working with the Power Platform is that if I ever need a custom UI component or a background process, I can easily just build that same component in a fraction of the time. As a developer, one of the things that I love about the Power Platform is how easy it is for anyone to come in and build an app. Long gone are the days where it takes you weeks, months to get an app together. As a developer, I spent a lot of my career trying to find ways for the business and technical to communicate more effectively. You know, less ambiguous requirements, trying to make sure that we don't build something that wasn't quite asked for. Well, the Power Platform has fundamentally changed the way that I work. We're working as a single team using a single vocabulary. Pro coders can build PCF components and Azure extensions, and then low coders then consume those seamlessly. And the great thing is that you no longer have to pick sides. So, pro code, no code, unite. The Power Platform, and most importantly, Power Automate, has definitely changed my life and helped me make a career out of it. That idea of basically Power Platform developers working together, as well as Power Platform creating new career opportunities, is really important to our view of the world. And what's great is we were able to do a, a report on new job postings with the Power App skill set being a required component of that. And we can see a huge increase in the number of consultancies, enterprise company, Fortune 500, seeking out Power Apps developers to go help them transform and use the Power Apps platform to start to change how their business operates. And this is one of the most exciting things to us is the emergence and creation of a whole new career path for low-code developers, uh, which is accessible to business users, IT professionals, and pro developers. And to keep innovating and keep delivering value for this growing uh, space and segment, we're really focused on five major focus areas. The first is the idea of bridging together the physical and digital world. The second is to bring AI everywhere in the platform. The third is to enable remote work through Microsoft Teams. The fourth is to enable fusion teams between developers and professional developers and citizen developers. And lastly, hyper automation. And just, I won't spend all the time going through all of these. Uh, so maybe grab a screenshot if you're interested in where we're going the next 12 months. But for across each of these, there's major improvements planned and major investments. And I'm incredibly excited to share this future looking statement, um, which of course can always change as we learn more, but uh, future looking statement about what we're planning on working or delivering. Things like bringing more mixed reality and augmented reality and geospatial awareness for that first one, or injecting uh, artificial intelligence as you build workflows and automations for that second one with AI everywhere, or to go make sure that Teams is the best canvas and best collaboration place for remote workers by delivering first class experiences inside the Power Platform. The fourth is that fusion teams, the idea of pro devs and citizen devs working together using Azure API management, data integration, Azure Data Lake, Azure AI, um, T-SQL endpoints and SQL Server Management Studio on top of Common Data Service. All of those areas are all about making it so developers feel welcome and so that developers can collaborate with citizen developers. And lastly is hyper automation. The power of robotic process automation combined with artificial intelligence is going to be one of the most important democratized capabilities inside the Power Platform over the next few years. We have a whole lot of improvements planned. If all of this sounds interesting, we, we had a little bit, an intro to Power Apps. We had some new capabilities announced at Ignite, a great demo from T-Mobile, as well as some forward-looking roadmap. If this sounds exciting and you want to keep going, there, here's a bunch of great resources available to you. The biggest thing, though, I say is get started. Sign up. It takes seconds, um, and you can start to play with the Power Platform. Great learning content in Microsoft Learn and a whole lot of other sessions here at Ignite where you can go learn more about Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, Power Virtual Agent, and the Power Platform all up. Um, I hope it was exciting. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to listen in today. Uh, and, I, and I hope you go give the Power Platform a try because there's a lot of exciting capabilities waiting for you.